I'm Mark Venz, and right now we are in the outback of Western Australia looking for a truly bizarre creature. And it's covered in razor sharp spines. Let's just say catching this one, it's gonna hurt a little. This creature is just as shy as it is sharp. So first we have to track one down in this huge forest. But in order to catch this giant spike ball, we're going to need to look for clues. Oh yeah, right there, check that out. This is a termite nest. This will be a perfect feast for the creature that we're after today. That tells me we are on the right track. Let's keep searching. Our second clue is that these creatures love to hide near trees and stumps. So that's where we're spending the most time looking. The problem is this forest is full of hiding places. This is like looking for a needle or a big pile of needles in a giant haystack. After hours of searching, we got lucky with the discovery of a final clue. That is a good sign right there. That's some poop from the creature we're after. You can see all the ants and termites in here. That means we're getting close. Oh, right there. That's an echidna. Look at that. Oh, oh. yes. That is what we have been looking for all morning long. That is Australia's spikiest creature, the echidna. And it is, yeah, wow, that is sharp. Okay, the echidna from the top is a tank riddled with spikes and a super tough skin. But underneath the echidna is a soft belly. And I'm gonna try to work my hand underneath this animal so I can present it to you. This is probably going to be a challenge. Let's see if I get my hand underneath. Ready? Ah. Come here, buddy. It's okay. And he's just wriggling in there. Ah! Oh, he's spiked. Ah, he's getting me. Mm. Now, unlike a porcupine, their spines can't release, but they are super sharp nonetheless. Ow! Okay. Okay, he's really wedged in there, guys. This is gonna be tough. Ah! Mm. Yeah, I'm getting nailed. All right, I'm gonna have to use some gloves here. There's no way I'm gonna be able to pry out this echidna. It is basically puffing up its body, using its spikes to wedge itself into this stump of the tree. All right, here we go. Luckily, I always carry a good pair of gloves with me on every adventure. I wanna get to the underside of the echidna that is much softer, and that should allow me to hold it for the scene. But I'm gonna have to do this really carefully. I'm trying to like work under all of the different spines. There we go. Uh-huh. Okay. Now, these spines are nothing more than modified hair, so this isn't hurting the echidna at all. It's only hurting me. Ah! Oh, you're sharp. Ow! Poked right through the club. Okay. I've got the other side. I've got the other side. This is good. Okay. I think I feel his foot. Ow! Oh, gosh. You are really... Ah! I'm getting spined so bad. Okay, all right, I'm underneath him. I'm underneath him. This is good. Under, the underbelly is so much easier to contend with. All right, right, got him, got him. I've got the echidna. We got one, guys. That is the echidna. Hello. All right, let's go this way. I see an opening over here, this will be perfect. So I think for the echidna to be most comfortable, it's gonna mean a little discomfort for me. I'm gonna to attempt to take my gloves off to do this scene, not only in hopes that the echidna will be more comfortable and will show us that beak, but also as to show everyone why you should never pick up an echidna. Oh boy. Hello. <laughs> this animal likes to hide by wedging against the nearest object. In this case, it's my foot. Gotta get to the soft belly part. <laughs> So sharp. Ah, come here. Come here. Come here. <gasps> Every time I try to pick him up, his spikes break under the skin of my fingernails. <sighs> come on, come on, come on, Knuckles. Anybody who is a fan of the Sonic the Hedgehog video game definitely knows Knuckles the Echidna. And you are tough as nails, Knuckles. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, buddy, I'm gonna put you on my knee, if that's okay. It's going through my pants. Ah, ah, knuckles. Oh my gosh, it's so sharp. Okay, hi. You are the spikiest creature I have ever held with my bare hands. Oh my goodness. Okay, this animal from the top side is almost bulletproof from any predator. Not only does it have these 
sharp spines, but the top hide is very tough. Now, on the underside of the echidna, <laughs> on the underside of the echidna, there's very soft underbelly along with its face. Hopefully, this echidna will get comfortable enough with me today to show its little face because it is super adorable. I'm trying to make it as comfortable as I can. Ah, as discomforting as it is for me, I want to show you that adorable little beak, the face of the echidna. Come on, buddy. I'm just gonna hold it here and try to be silent. And try to be silent! Ah. Oh my gosh. Ah, he's poking his nose at me. Come on. Come on, say hi. Ah. Oh, I think we're gonna have an appearance of the kidney beak. Hi. Hello. Come say hi. Oh, I can see the eyeball. Come say hi. That's a nope. Door slammed. There we go. Get a shot. Show us your cute little mug. <sighs> Try to be quiet. Fight through the pain. Because I want you to see the face of the echidna. Come out. Come out and show us. Show us the face. <laughs> Here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. Can you see it? Mm. Mm. Guys, get the shot, get the shot. Hi, hi, how are you? I'm not doing good. I hope you're doing well though. All right guys, that is the beak of the echidna. And it has been very painful to get on camera. Ah, you little, you little, you little spike ball. Ah. Okay, okay. So you can see the boogery nose there. These animals just recently were discovered to be able to regulate their body heat by blowing snot bubbles on their nose. Oh man. Okay. Just gotta work through the pain a little bit. So an echidna feasts on a diet made up completely of ants and termites. In fact, this animal also has some of the best hearing of any animal in Australia. And it's so sophisticated, they can actually hear the termites and the ants crawling underground, which is why we have to be so quiet. Ah, it's so sharp. It is so sharp. And now compared to the hedgehog, an echidna weighs a lot more. I would say this echidna is in excess of 10 pounds. And just the weight alone, oh, makes it super sharp in its spines. Spines are so sharp, guys. Okay. Ah. Ah. Now, if you get a shot of that foot, you'll notice that it's actually backwards. That is a very unusual trait. A lot of times when people are tracking echidnas, they will actually follow them the opposite direction because of the fact that those hind feet are flipped in the opposite direction. So the echidna is a monotreme, one of the only egg-laying mammals on the planet. The echidna lays a single egg at a time, which is about the size of a Mentos. It is a leathery shell, and it will then incubate the egg for 10 days in its pseudo pouch. Its pseudo pouch is located near the belly, almost like a marsupial, like a kangaroo, will rear its young. Once the egg hatches into a puggle, it will actually nurture that puggle for up to 55 days until it grows spines spines because they hurt Ow. you hurt me you hurt me so Ugh. okay okay put him down put him down ah. 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 definitely through some blood that is like wildlife acupuncture i do not recommend it it's time to put our echidna back where we found it and honestly i'm not sure who's happier about this me or the echidna my hands are on fire right now Ouch. Do you have any rare and endangered animals that live near you? Tell us about them in the comments below and what ideas you have to save them. Who knows, maybe we'll come out and film an adventure with you.